Welcome back friends. In this video lecture we are going to show how to install Puppet Enterprise. So I have my VMs ready and they are running. So um, this is the Enterprise server and what I have done is I have actually increased the power of for this particular VM because I am going to install the Enterprise server here. So what I have done is I have changed my memory to 16 gig and processor to 4 vCPUs virtual CPUs so it becomes more powerful so that my installation will go faster and other ones I have just uh, stopped at this point. I will run them after installing this server so that my installation will be faster. Okay so now I have a go forward and access our enterprise server. I have already explained how to create a shortcut to access uh, the VM with SSH. Now uh, I am here in my home directory and just first of all uh, to able to download Puppet Enterprise what you have to do is go to puppetlabs.com and here you can go and see the product enterprise and here try it for free and give your email id here so that it you it will give you the ip address it will give you uh, a url from which you can download uh, your uh, your file for installation and it is completely uh, you can try for up to free for up to 10 nodes so obviously this is a demo uh, and I will not have more than three nodes in fact so perfectly I can use uh, for my uh, demo here now I have already uh, created a, a file out of uh, my previous installation that how to install so that I can just uh, copy paste and go faster with my video so uh, here uh, and this gives me also if I uh, run puppet uh, putty in this way it gives me the way to just copy and paste a very uh, you um, very uh, friendly way to just copy and paste uh, my commands okay so here uh, first of all go and double get and okay it is already uh, so double get my this is the this this is the file I need to download. So it is going to download the file, and it is going to take some time. And um, then what I do is I'll just uh, extract this folder, uh, this file, and uh, I'll do an enter, and uh, then we'll go with the installation uh, as it uh, gives me. So. Uh, and what else I'll I, okay another thing just wanted to tell that before really installing this software what it is a good practice if you can take a snapshot for this VM so what actually before uh, going and doing it I have taken a snapshot so here take a snapshot so that if anything goes wrong um, actually after installation also after just downloading this uh, you can do that you can just stop this instance again and take a snapshot then go for installation so that anything goes with your configuration or anything goes with your installation package then you can always uh, get back and do a fresh install so I'll just do an in zero uh, so that uh, I, I don't have to do a lot of uh, recreate the whole VM in fact sometimes if anything goes wrong so I just did it I just download it and do puppet enterprise server do is take a snapshot I've already take the basic when I created now this is a snapshot to take the snapshot and same thing you do for other things also take a snapshot and puppet demo node take a snapshot yes and compile master node take a snapshot yes so now I have uh, taken all the snapshots so that I can uh, return back to my uh, VMs anytime to this particular configuration uh, anytime afterwards. So again run the VM. Run the VM and let's go with the installation. Now it is running. <clears throat> so
server is up puppet enterprise server and this is my console terminal and I have downloaded my package then tar and just it is unpacking all the RPMs and it is giving me a folder I can do a sudo su actually instead of doing a super user every time sudo I'll be elevate my privileges to super user now go to puppet and do here run you see the puppet and price installer okay just run that in a super user mode I have already you see that I have already I've been root and do the installation part go forward and install and you see there is a guided install and text mode so I'll go for a guided installation and by default it is one is selected press just uh, press enter and here after this it will try to download all the packages necessary for puppet and price and it will be installed on the uh, host VM so here um, it is downloading the packages with otherwise if you don't want to do with enterprise server then uh, if you are using pop if you want to use puppet uh, open source then you have to install the packages with yum yum install and the puppet packages and um, puppet with that you can download all the puppet agent puppet uh, related puppet related packages with yum so now here we have reached here it is in packages are installed now it is running this installer and it is asking us to browse our web browser we will continue our installation with browsing this puppet server 3000 port 3000 okay so what we do is here go to our web browser and here it is giving uh, the puppet server but puppet enterprise server but my this is my windows host windows so it won't be it will not be able to resolve that ip so what i'll go is the 31 ip address and the 3000 so this is my uh package this is the my uh this is the way i to access but if you don't want this way if you want you should able to resolve this what you can do is go to your windows and c drive windows then system 32 if you want to resolve that system 32 and then okay no system uh, sorry system 32 then it's uh, drivers uh, drivers let's see and hosts this is the file you can edit this file actually to like in windows you have slash it c host here in windows c drive windows system 32 drivers at c and host you can edit this so open with i can con press control right click select control right click then open with open with and open with a notepad here then you can add actually so here puppet master puppet i have actually one here and this is i can uh, go ahead and delete all others i don't need at this point 31 32 and 33 so what is the host name for me here puppet int server right so puppet enterprise server and so I'll uh, this give us the local domain and this is as what is this this is a puppet compile master and puppet 
compile master dot local domain and you can give the 33 one in fact so this will be 33 and this is puppet demo node and domain node dot, dot local domain so all my 31 32 33 now uh, if i save this then it will be actually resolvable from my local host and now i can actually browse uh, instead of giving the ip i can browse https puppet enterprise right puppet and server ent server 3000 uh, see it is now resolving to the ip and i got same so here an 9231 otherwise now i got server 3000 right so this is the way i can resolve in a uh, this is the way i can resolve uh, from the windows without having a dns uh, server setup okay i can uh, do that so uh, let's get started now uh, i'll uh, now continue this let's close this and i'll close now with the puppet enterprise server 3000 type and type is monolithic let's do that if you want to do otherwise you can do that uh, i'll do then same here puppet server puppet enterprise server fully qualified domain name okay so here i'll call this as the local domain okay this is the, my fully qualified domain name local domain and before that uh, actually i can install uh, i have to do is another node uh, what i'll do is uh, let's see host i have to edit that i think i didn't do that host uh, sudo slash let's see host abc123 uh, well uh, sorry i think uh, this uh, installation may fail because already the service is running and i actually i should have copied this completely before starting it let's see if we can do that the same thing i just copy it and do hopefully it will be able to resolve let's see and uh, now given fq dun domain and install this is the postgresql it uh, installs on the host so that it is puppet db it is used and the password a b c d one two three four i just want to give a simple password for the time being and that's all needed and we can uh, once you submit uh, what it will do is it is uh, and checking uh, the host name is this one dns alias puppet and that other support and continue so what it will do is it will try to validate our configurations of the server and it is uh, there is a warning here it is that slash temp uh, slash var opt having a less free space it should be minimum of 100 gig and we have 47 gig uh, remaining so but it's okay it's a warning i believe it should uh, go ahead with the uh, server installation without any issues and let's go forward and deploy now uh, so with this i i uh, i'll come back when it is over and i believe it will go through the installation thank you